Authorities say 49-year-old Thomas Parkin is an accomplished impersonator. So good, in fact, that he collected $117,000 in Social Security checks and rent subsidies by impersonating his mother, Irene Prusik. She died in 2003, but authorities say Parkin impersonated her for years, going as far as donning sunglasses, a wig, and a dress to conduct her personal business. This comes out number one. This guy's not stupid. This guy's very smart. And, you know, I, I, I think, you know, his, his schemes were absolutely brilliant. Authorities say the man on the right in the surveillance video, Milton Romolo, was posing as the woman's nephew. He has also been charged in the case. You have anything you want to say, sir? Investigators say Parkin falsified his mother's death certificate and lived in his mother's townhouse, collecting rent subsidies and falsely claiming that he had a disability and that his mother was still alive and was his landlord. But the home had been sold in foreclosure after Prusik died, and a dispute arose between Parkin and the new owner, and authorities got wind of the alleged scam. As they investigated, Parkin dressed up as his mother and tried to keep the ruse alive. He wore a scarf around his neck so that um, it would prevent us from seeing the Adam's apple. He had large sunglasses even inside the house when we went to see him, and he had a, um, an oxygen mask on his face as well. He and Romolo are charged with grand larceny, criminal impersonation, and other charges, and they're both being held on $1 million bail. Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.